Hi, this is the NOELEC NESDR, or Nano SDR. It is used for Software Defined Radio, or SDR for short. And the idea is to use a very simple electronic device like this and combine it with the computing power of your PC to decode complex radio signals. It can also be used as a, a TV set on your PC in Europe for decoding European radio style sig TV signals. That's why it comes with this remote control. But here in North America, it can't decode our TV. This little USB device contains an RTL2832U and R820T chips. And this costs just under $20 and comes with a simple stick antenna. And the stick antenna has a magnetic base for ease of mounting. When the Nano SDR is combined with this free software called HD SDR or High Definition SDR, you get a radio that tunes all frequencies from 24 megahertz up to 1700 megahertz. It will do AM, FM, single sideband, and continuous wave. The display you see here, this is the frequencies being tuned in at the moment, and this is a histogram of the signal strength. And down here is a representation of the audio signal coming in and again and a histogram of the audio as well. And over here is a signal strength meter and that the signal frequency being tuned in. The software installs easily if you follow the directions. When I put it in I ran into a, a minor problem with receiving FM signals, but it was because I didn't have the, the band set wide enough. There's a little slider here, and if the signal is too narrow, then it won't be able to pick any, any FM stations up. So I had to fiddle with all the controls until I got to this one, and then it began to work perfectly. The squelch is adjustable over here using this, this dial, and it can be, can be adjusted merely by clicking. Another handy feature on this is timed recording. If you go under options, there is a, a feature here for recording settings and schedules. So you can, you can record any time that you're not around. The authors of this software are very enthusiastic and are updating the software on a regular basis. So if you go back to the website occasionally, you will see if, there, if there's any updates. There is a volume control and it's located right here with a simple slider bar and you can adjust it to bring up the volume of what you're listening to. Hello. I've only run into a couple of issues that aren't really that serious when you consider the cost of the device. One of them is image rejection. Right now I'm at the 31 megahertz band and there shouldn't be any FM stations, but yet here's an FM station and I found that that is actually one of the local FM stations. And I think that's because it, it's confusing the frequencies and tuning in ones that it shouldn't be at this low end. This is only a problem at uh, the low end and once you get above 40 megahertz there's no longer an issue. Another problem is uh, the bandwidth that it can tune in at any given time that the specs say it's supposed to be able to have a, a 3.2 megahertz width, but I found that really it's only 1.8 megahertz. Another issue is um, the website f for the uh, No Electric suggests using SDR Sharp as the software. I wasn't able to make it work, but that's not a problem because I found this HD SDR which is superior. In conclusion, I highly recommend this device and the HD SDR package. For less than $20, you can't go wrong.